Hey guys, I'm excited to announce that I've partnered with Omaze on this video for your chance to win two seats on one of the very first Virgin Galactic flights to space. It's a win-win because every donation benefits a great cause, space for humanity. All you have to do is go to omaze.com slash astrobackyard to enter for your chance to win. Okay, let's start the video. Hi everyone, this is Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard, and tonight I'm going to be photographing a nebula in the night sky with my telescope. But this one includes a little surprise. Over the years, I've photographed countless deep sky objects here in the backyard, but this one is very different. Recently, the Event Horizon Telescope has taken new images that reveal a powerful jet emitted by a supermassive black hole. The Event Horizon Telescope is actually a global array of radio telescopes around the world. You may recall their amazing image of the supermassive black hole near M87 taken in 2019. The latest image is focused on the Centaurus A galaxy, a southern hemisphere beauty that's obviously not available from my location. But the whole thing got me thinking, is it possible for me to photograph a black hole from my backyard? Now, when I take pictures of nebulae and galaxies, I'm trying to collect light, lots of it. But a black hole is a place where gravity pulls so hard that not even light can escape it. So yes, technically, I'm taking a picture of something that's invisible. But I know that there's a black hole in there, specifically a micro quasar known as Cygnus X1 that sits right next to the Tulip Nebula in the constellation Cygnus. Scientists have discovered that a bubble of gas, or a shell, may have been created by the jet of a micro quasar and black hole in Cygnus X1. Now, I don't exactly have a network of radio telescopes to photograph black holes, but what I do have is a very modest setup here with a sick, dedicated astronomy camera. And what I can do is photograph the area of the night sky where that black hole is known to exist. Astrophotography this summer has been challenging, from unending thunderstorms to forest fire smoke. And on behalf of my country, I apologize for all the smoke. Tonight, however, seems like it's going to be relatively clear for the first time in a while, other than the smoke, of course. With such a limited amount of clear sky time, I wanted to photograph something truly special tonight. For my regular viewers, this setup might look familiar with a few changes. So the mount is the Skywatcher EQ-8R Pro, totally overmounted for this Esprit 100 refractor telescope. On the back there, I've got the ASI 2600mm Pro, which is a monochrome CMOS camera. And then I've got the filter wheel with narrowband filters there. So this is the setup for photographing the Tulip Nebula slash black hole tonight. Yes, the observatory is coming along. Uh, it takes time though. It's a new software and a new telescope mount, as you know. So ironing out the fine details there and I'll be up and running in the new observatory before you know it. In terms of location, the Tulip Nebula is close to the Crescent Nebula in Cygnus. The catalog name is Sharpless 101. Cygnus is just a great constellation to shoot from my location and much of the Northern Hemisphere. It's out for a long time, nice clear view, I can get plenty of time on it. So Cygnus will be available as soon as the sun sets and I'm gonna get up and running as soon as possible. A chance to win two tickets to space. I can't even believe I'm saying that. But yes, it's true, you can win a ticket to space on the Virgin Galactic spacecraft where you will fly 80 kilometers above the Earth experience the overview effect where you have a new connection to our home planet in only a way that astronauts had been able to do before. Every seat is a window seat in this spacecraft with 12 circular windows as you float around weightlessly in space. I can't, I just can't get over, like, is it, what am I, how is this? The field of view of this camera and telescope will allow me to capture the entire Tulip Nebula with room to spare, which is great because Cygnus X1 is just outside of the Tulip Nebula. It's going to be a beautiful photo in its own right, but I would love to see if I could actually capture some of that outer shell emitted by that jet in the microquasar. Full disclosure here, I don't even know if it's possible to capture any of the whole black hole situation using my equipment under these skies, but I know that it's in there.
Cygnus X1 is a galactic X-ray source. It's estimated to have a mass of over 21 times that of our Sun. It is too small to be any known kind of normal star or any other likely object than a black hole. For your chance to win two seats on one of the first Virgin Galactic space flights, go to omaze.com slash astrobackyard, enter now, and good luck on winning two seats to space. <laughs> good luck. Someone's going to space. I'm going to space at some point in my life. That is a bold statement. I'm going to space. Somehow, some way, I'm going to space. I should probably run that by Ash first. <laughs>